Now, all right, today it's going to be a stop debate okay, between NVIDIA versus Intel. Right, and I believe both of you, uh, all of you guys have definitely heard of uh, these two companies before, right? They are all giant. And do you know that in just less than two years, right? Two years ago, back in 2022, NVIDIA's revenue was still smaller than Intel, right? And at that time, the revenue was $25 billion. And Intel was almost double, right? In fact, more than double at $56 billion. But today... Guys, what happened? Woo, right? In a short period of two years, right? NVIDIA has exploded right? in a very, very good way. You can see that the revenue jumped almost threefold from $26 billion to now $60 over billion, right? But on the other hand, Intel, well, it continued to stay pretty flat. And in fact, right now, right, being the first time, the first year that it's being overtaken by NVIDIA, right? So that's why today, right, we are going to look into, wow, you know, let's take a look at, well, what are the opportunities out there, right? Is it indeed that NVIDIA is the only opportunities or maybe potentially, uh, well, Intel, since it has dropped so much, right? Because you can see that for the net income as well, just now was revenue, right? Net income, that means how much the company actually make. You can see on the uh, these two charts, make a guess, which one is NVIDIA? If you think left is NVIDIA, type L. If you think that the right-hand side is NVIDIA, type right, okay? Left or right, which one is NVIDIA? One is NVIDIA, one is uh, Intel, obviously, right? So, okay, so, well, most of you get it right, okay? The left hand is NVIDIA, right? On the other hand, that net income has been decreasing and decreasing over the years. And right now, what? Only left with $1.68 billion. That was Intel, right? That is Intel for uh, the recent financial year. So exactly what's happening, right? And like just like what Buffett said, when the business does well, the stock price will eventually follow. Right, and as you can see, right in the past five one year alone, Nvidia has increased in its stock price for two hundred over percent. Right, and for the past five years, this stock has gone up thousand seven hundred percent. Really, really, it's like an exploding to the moon. Right, but on the other hand, for Intel, for the past five years, it just keep on dropping and dropping, and it, it's still like thirty percent down. So if you bought it five years ago, well, today you are still losing money. So pretty sad. Right. So the thing is, right, with with dropping in prices doesn't mean that it presents us potential opportunity, right? Because when the price is cheap, if it's a good company, when you buy it right now, definitely it will be a better price, right? So let's take a look at some of the uh, revenue breakdown, right, as well as the business model of uh, Nvidia versus uh, versus Intel. Now, does anybody know what is the secret key to Nvidia's astounding success. Can you guys tell me what does NVIDIA do? Can you put it in the chat? What do you think that NVIDIA do? What does it produce? What does it design? Exactly, all right? GPU, all right? So why is it that GPU out of sudden can become so, so popular and like so many companies are demanding for it? It's because of rise of AI. Now, the thing is, NVIDIA sold about 78% of the AI chips to data center. If you're still wondering how is GPU related to AI, right? It's because at the end of the day, all this AI, all those additional, you know, these kind of mass data, the big data is all stored in the data center, right? And the chips are super, super useful product provided that uh, the, the chips that NVIDIA designed, right? The GPU that they designed, it's very, very useful for the rise of AI. And that's why it sold about 78% AI chips destined for data center worldwide, right? And that's where the NVIDIA fever actually started. And you can see that this is the revenue breakdown of NVIDIA. And you can see the purple segment, that is the data center. And as you can see, in just one year, the data center revenue double. Guys, how many of you think that this is quite amazing? In fact, more than double. If you think it's quite amazing, type wow in the chat, 
right? From like $15 billion, right now it's $45 billion. Okay, guys, this is triple. <laughs> it's super, super amazing, right? And on the other hand, because GPU is also massively used in gaming, right? Graphic cards, you want to make sure gamers have a good experience. The visuals must be real, everything, right? So GPU has been, uh, NVIDIA's GPU has been widely used by uh, different gamer, game, gaming uh, developers, companies, and all this, right? So, well, the gaming revenue also increased a little, but still okay, right? Relatively consistent, but it's the data center that exploded, right? And right now, 78% of the revenue belongs to data center, as you can see by NVIDIA, right? 78%, right? And that contribute to the key, key uh, profit increase for this company, while 17% comes from gaming, right? Now, for those who is, if it's a first time of you hearing about GPU, can you type GPU in the chat, right? You don't really know what exactly is GPU, right? Or uh, then I can slightly just explain a little bit, okay? For Heidi, you are completely new, right? So as you can see, right? NVIDIA, they are very, very famous for production of uh, manufacturing and design of GPU. So what exactly is GPU use, used for, right? It's used for gaming. It's also used for data center, right? Now, if you just Google it, in fact, it's uh, it can perform mathematical calculations at high speed, right? And that's why computer tasks like graphic renderings, Machine learning, which is all about big data, which is all about AI, right? Video editing require GPU. And how does GPU play a part in data center, right? It plays a crucial role because data center, it requires so much computation, so much calculation, and all of them are very complex, right? And because of that, right, all these are related to artificial intelligence machine learning, data processing, right? So unlike CPU, CPU is what Intel is famous for doing, right? CPU is designed to handle relatively simpler tasks, right? That is par uh, that parallel processing, uh, sorry, this is GPU. Uh, GPU designed to handle parallel processing tasks. That means they need to do a lot of things, data calculation, all this at the same time. But CPU is generally linear. Right. So that's why, right, in terms of AI, the rise of data center and all this, right, GPU will be definitely way more useful as compared to CPU. Right. And Daniel also mentioned that GPU is also used for Bitcoin mining as well. Right. So that's why, if you think about why is it that Intel, which is also a chip manufacturer, chip design, chip maker, why is it that it's not as profitable as compared to it used to be last time? It's because last time we don't need all these very complicated, you know, uh, calculations. We don't need all this processing power and all this, right? And because of that, well, last time the computer is generally simple logic. That's why CPU managed to do well, right? But right now with AI and everything, right? CPU is already the bare minimum. <laughs> it's the GPU that helps to move the world to a better place, right? To a more developed place, right? And that's why uh, you can see that. That's why Intel, it's not able to generate as much as revenue as it used to be, right? And it's actually doing, uh, have, having a hard time trying to catch up, right? So this is Intel's revenue breakdown. As you can see, right, most of its revenue still come from notebook, right, which is your Windows. Uh, right now, Mac no longer uses uh, Intel chip anymore, right? All those old models are now replaced by all the new models that Mac has this, its own M1, M2, M3 chips, right? On the other hand, right, so Intel is only just still having that original market share of notebook. In, in in its uh, in its uh, using a CPU and at the same time for data center, um well there is still certain market share but it's a lot lesser as compared to Nvidia right and that's why as you can see this is the revenue um uh, deterioration right over the past one year uh you can see that the purple one is the notebook revenue is dropping right and. Is data center and AI revenue, it's also shrinking. And then it's desktop revenue. Uh, this one is kind of relatively stagnant, right? But it's mainly these two that is dropping because there's uh, there are better providers and better competitors right now, 
right? And because of that, right, Intel, right, dropped significantly over the years while uh, NVIDIA shoot up a lot. So just by looking at this, which one do you think is a better buy right now? What do you think? If you think it's Intel, type I. If you think it's NVIDIA, type N. What do you think? Intel or NVIDIA? Ah, okay. Most of you say NVIDIA, right? Because it's a great business and revenue, everything is increasing, right? Profits, everything is uh, tremendously increasing as well, right? So now let's first, firstly take a look at Intel. Then we will be able to arrive at the conclusion, right? So with the stock price drop so much, many people also tend to think that, well, if the stock price has dropped so much, maybe it's a good time to enter, right? Because you can buy company cheaper. Well, this logic is definitely correct. However, very importantly is you want to make sure you buy a great company cheaper. Can everybody type great? Okay, it must be a great business uh, from the very beginning, then it's a, it's a sensible investment, right? So now let's take a look at Intel because the earnings of the company has dropped so much, right? And recently, like I say, it's trying to play catch up, right? And that's why they are investing a lot of money to develop better uh, chips, right? To also want to, to fight in a war of uh, GPU and all this, right? And because of that, their earnings has dropped significantly. But at the same time, their share price, even though it's dropping, but the earnings decrease even faster. So as a result, the PE ratio, right? The price to earnings ratio, price is the stock price over the earnings. When now, right now, the earnings drop so much. And as a result, actually right now, if you buy... Um, the current P ratio of Intel is 89, 89 times. While on the other hand, if you buy it on average about five years ago, you are buying it only at about 10 times. So guys, can you tell me, if you look at the current P ratio versus a five-year average, is this cheap or expensive right now? C or E? Is it cheap or expensive? Yes, exactly. All right. So I think that even though the stock price has dropped a lot, but the business nature has also deteriorated quite a lot. So if you buy it right now, well, I think the risk is also really, really high because of the earnings have deteriorated so much over the years, right? Uh, how about NVIDIA then, right? If you look at NVIDIA, the stock price has gone up so, so much, right? But guys, remember, right? When it comes to PE ratio, which is a very simple uh, and a standard valuation method that most people use out there, including professional uh, fund managers and all this, they always look at P ratio first, right? So the P over here, even though the price has increased a lot, but has the earnings increased? So let's take a look, right? If the earnings has increased, then maybe the P ratio probably is still reasonable, right? So now let's take a look. This is the P ratio of NVIDIA as compared to other of its competitors out there, right? Of course, this chart is not the most updated one, but you can also see that over the years, NVIDIA has been pretty expensive, right? All the time, right? Uh, back then, it was about 50 times. I think this is about two years ago, the data. Right? At that time, Intel was still uh, very, very cheap because the earnings didn't drop so much, right? But you can see right now, how about now, right? Back then was uh, 50, 50 times, right? 50 times for NVIDIA. Right now, even though the stock price has increased and even though the earnings has also increased, but well, still, if you buy it right now, the PE ratio is 73 times versus the five-year average is 65 times, right? So guys, can you tell me, this one, is this cheap or expensive? Is it cheap or expensive? Exactly, right? Just like what Katie, Kevin, you guys are typing, this is actually also expensive, right? So that's why I personally think that NVIDIA is definitely a good company, but it's a company that I don't really have that guts to buy because the margin of safety is so, so low, right? Like in order for this company to continue to have this kind of great momentum, like what we are seeing right now, the earnings need to continue to be high, right? To justify for uh, investors paying such a good, uh, such a high price, right? So this is something that I cannot say for sure. And that's why 
um, I don't want to buy an overvalued stock like that, right? So be it Intel or be it NVIDIA, I both think that right now the Intel nature is too uncertain. I don't want to buy into something that the economic mode seems to have really deteriorated a lot. On the other hand, NVIDIA is a great company, but there is no margin of safety. And margin of safety is what Warren Buffett said, right? The three most important words in investing is margin of safety. So can everybody type MOS in the chat, right? By Soundhound. <laughs> MOS, huh? so this is something that you need to start asking yourself whenever you buy into certain things. Do you have margin of safety? If you don't have a margin of safety, then your risk can be a lot higher. And we also know that investing, there is always risk, right? There's always risk, but how to manage and control our risk is the most important thing, right? For example, if you keep on trying to chase the stock price, well, recently, NVIDIA has started dropping. Right, because there is an overall market correction right now. Right, so that's why it's important for us to be patient. Can everybody type patient in the chat? Right, don't try to chase after prices because it's gone up so much. You want to make sure, firstly, is it a good company? And secondly, do you have the MOS? Right, do you have the margin of safety when it comes to buying any form of investment? And I think that is truly important. Right, so now for those who don't know what is margin of safety. Anyone is new here, if you're new, can you type new in the chat, right? So I just want to quickly explain to you what do you uh, what do we mean by margin of safety and what does Warren Buffett mean by margin of safety? So every single company, right, the share price will definitely move every single day, right? But the value of the company, right, how much is the company actually worth doesn't change every day, right? So if you're able to find out the worth of the company, in this case, it's the intrinsic value, Right? And let's say the stock price right now fell true and below the intrinsic value. This is where this become a very good buy zone because you get it cheaper than its value. Right? So what is in between here, this gap is called MOS. Right? The bigger the margin of safety, the better for you because your risk is even lower. So when you are able to lower your risk, and buy it at a very good price, that's when eventually when the market rebound, that's how you are able to increase your return much, much faster in a shorter time, right? And that's why for this to happen, it must be a great company in the first place because if it's a lousy company, it can look very cheap, but well, it can go even lower as well because it's a lousy business that deteriorate in nature, right? So that's why it's very important that you always buy into a good company and buy at a good price, right? So for me, for myself, I have been thinking about collecting NVIDIA, but because of the nature of it, just too much hype around it, I just don't think that it's, uh, it's sensible to buy it at a very high price, right? So I keep on asking myself, how can I reduce my risk <laughs> and increase my margin of safety for a stock like NVIDIA, right? So that is when, right? Uh, okay, so easy as asking, is there any recommendation for margin of safety number? Now, depends on different investors, right? Some people really go very, 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 strict on margin of safety. For example, Manish, Manish Probai, a very, very famous investor who basically learned from Munger, uh, his margin of safety level is usually 50%, right? If anything that is less than 50%, he won't touch, right? He is so strict about it. Um, but he definitely studied very deep into the business. And once he sees it's below 50% the value, he will buy aggressively, right? That's his investing style. So, Depends on you once again. If you really want to be very, very sure, very, very safe, that is 50%. Can everybody type 50 in the chat, right? But I think minimally, right? Minimally, uh, you should give yourself at least 20%, at least, right? So that at least you have that margin of safety of uh, 20% in terms of arrow, right? Because we can all make mistakes. But ideally, if you can go even further, like 50%, you are super, super safe. Now, of course, the higher that you go, that means the lower this risk is, the harder it is for you to have an opportunity like that, right? So that means your waiting time frame also gets longer as well. 
So once again, it's always a balance. It's good to um, decide for yourself. Right? Firstly, do you understand this business? And secondly, what is your risk appetite when it comes to investing? Yeah, exactly. Some of you say, right, uh, it's pretty tough. So do, uh, do I look at price to book? Would that help to, uh, well, I think I understand the notion of price to book as you can buy it cheap, right? Based on the equity of the company, right? But I think that if it's a company that is on a deterioration, the book value will eventually start to deteriorate as well. So I think if we base on the original Benjamin Graham method of value investing, that you don't mind buying a cigarette, uh, like cigarette bar company, like that means like a lousy business, but you buy it really cheap, then you can use price to book. But if you look at really the new way of Warren Buffett, what he has been doing over the years to accumulate his wealth, he really want to focus on the quality business, right? So that's why uh, for me, I think it's quality comes first, then price comes the second very important part with the margin of safety, right? How many of you can understand this? If you understand this, can you type you in the chat? Yeah, if Intel can produce new and more powerful chips in the future, then this company can potentially turn around, right? But the question is if, right? If. <laughs> so right now we can not say for sure, unless you are super into the Intel company and maybe you are employee of Intel, you probably can see uh, what kind of uh, development does the company have. If not, it's probably a little bit dangerous to say that it can do it, right? Unless you are working in the company and you know a lot of insights that people don't know, right? So that's why for myself, I always want to make sure that I reduce my risk by firstly investing in good company and second one, high margin of safety. Now, the thing is, how do I have this? Given that NVIDIA has been, wow, just on a roller coaster, like, I mean, just keep on going up. In fact, it's, it's not exactly a roller coaster, but more like a rocket going up, right? So I don't dare to buy using my own money. But if I can get free shares, then why not, right? How many of you don't mind getting free shares of NVIDIA. If you don't mind, uh, can you type free in the chat? Right? And how did I manage to have uh, $10,000 free shares of NVIDIA? I will share with you exactly how I did it. And I think it's, uh, to me, it's no-brainer because I, I, I don't mind collecting free shares of a good company, right? So in fact, it depends on you. There are different ways to unlock different tier of shares, right? So from $50, $250 all the way until $10,000. I will want to share with you how you can do that, right? So Calvin is raising hand. Uh, <laughs> a lot of you are raising hand already. I love that, okay? So now, how do I do that? It's firstly, I basically use Weibo to get free shares. Now, depends on where you are right now, different country in uh based on different uh, promotion, Weibo might give you different uh, wave of, uh, ways of rewards, right? So for in Singapore, right now they are running this great, great promotion to give away free shares as long as you either open up an account with them or you choose to transfer in your existing stocks from another broker to their platform. Right? So I will share with you both ways so that you can see at the end of the day which one works best for you. Right? And I will also share with you what did I do to get that $10,000 free shares. Right? So now, firstly, for new user, okay, anyone that is new here that you never used Weibo before, if you're new, can you type new in the chat? Okay. Yes. All right. The Weibo data is live. It's live. Uh, actually, the data is very, very good. Uh, later, I can show you a little bit about the platform. I think it's pretty good, right? So uh, some of you are new here. So if you're a new user, depends on how much are you funding in inside, right? Because you need to invest, right? So when you fund in, depends on the amount, you can get to unlock different tier of free NVIDIA shares, right? And the good thing about Weibo is they also offer commission-free trade. For example, for if you're buying Singapore stocks, it's basically three years commission free. And if you're buying US stock, it's one month commission free, right? Later on, I will also share with you, despite that they have 
uh, certain commission after one month, it's still actually cheaper than many brokerages uh, uh, platform in Singapore, right? So let me share with you uh, what are the charges later as well. But firstly, let's take a look at the free shares, right? Because this is what gets us most excited, okay? So now, firstly, right? If you look at, if you're a new user, you have never opened Weibo before. If you open right now and you deposit 500 US dollars inside, and you just need to complete one buy trade, right? The one buy trade can, can be anything, right? Let's say you want to buy uh, ETF, right? For me, I always think that ETF investing is the best form of investing for any beginner. That means you don't need to care about individual stocks. You just need to buy the overall broad market. And in the long run, the markets always go up, right? That is super, super powerful. So you just need to buy something that you know that you can hold for a long term, right? So that's how you complete one buy trade already, as simple as that. Right. And after that, immediately, because you completed both actions, right, that's how you get five free shares of NVIDIA. And minimally, the free shares that you'll be getting is $10. So that's how the $50 comes in, right? Minimum is $50. But if you are lucky enough, based on the system, sometimes they will get lucky people to get higher value. They even give like $10 to up to $500. So this one can potentially be a lot more. And that's why they put the $50 plus. So minimally, it's already 50. You can everybody type minimum, right? If you're lucky enough, maybe you get $500. Maybe you get, I don't know, uh, 5,000. Uh, no, cannot be 5,000 like, because maximum 500, right? Maximum is $2,500, right? For depositing 500, right? But let's use the conservative number. Minimally, it's already 10%, right? You deposit 500, you get $50, which is in terms of Nvidia shares. And when the share price continues to increase, well, your $50 will increase in value as well, as long as you don't sell away your share, right? As simple as that, right? And then if you actually deposit a higher amount, for example, if you deposit $2,000 and you need to just complete five buy trade, right? And what is the easy way of complete five, five, five buy trade? You can buy the ETF five times separately, right? Let's say you want to buy something that it's uh, very, very affordable, right? Yes, it will be fractional share. Easy, uh, got it right, right? Fractional share means Weibo is going to split one share of, for example, right now, NVIDIA is about $800, right? So if they give you one share, you will get $800 worth of share. But right now, they're giving you at least $50. So out of the one share, they will split, 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 become fractional share and give it to you. So your account will literally have a fraction of NVIDIA share, right? So if you deposit $2,000 and complete five by, five, by, five by trade, that's how you will get more shares. Instead of five shares, you will get 15 free fractional shares of NVIDIA, ranging from, once again, $10 to $500. So minimally, you will already get $150. And now, if you deposit more, let's say you deposit $100,000 and you complete 10 by trade, right? Then you will definitely get a guaranteed, okay, this is a guaranteed $2,950. Can everybody type G? G stands for guaranteed. Okay, so this one, no need guessing. Definitely, you will get 2950 if you deposit 100K. Now, I just want to highlight a little bit about the buy trade. Huh? So let's say over here, you want to uh, buy into certain things that uh, that is within your budget, right? I know if you buy, uh, you know, SPY right now, right? SPY can be, right now it's about $500, right? Let me just use $500 as, a, as an example, right? But you don't need to buy $500. You can also buy fractional share. Right, you can buy like 0 0.1 share, then it's $50. You get what I mean? Or you can choose to go lower, but I think you cannot go low like 0 0.000 something, right? But basically, you can also use fractional share and you transact five times, you are able to hit this, uh, this action. And you transact 10 times, you are able to um, hit this action, right? So how many of you think that this is pretty easy? You think it's easy, type E in the chat, right? So this is relatively easy, yeah? However, if you think uh, you want a, another easier way, an even easier way, this is a place for you to do, right? Instead of buying shares, right, which you need five trades to 10 trades, right? Let's say you don't want, because right now you think that, oh, the market is a little bit high. I just want to, you know, put my money inside first and see whether will the market start to, you know, come back down. And that's why you don't mind holding on for the cash for a while. This is what you can do. Instead of uh, com 
completing the five buy trades immediately, what you need to do is just subscribe to the money book, right? So what is money book? Basically, money book is money market fund. How many of you have heard of money market fund? If you have heard, can you type M in the chat, right? Now, money market fund basically is something really, really safe. And uh, they are just buy into, you know, treasury bills, uh, short-term bonds and all this. So, and that's why the risk of money market fund, uh, it's almost, almost zero. Okay, I wouldn't say 100% zero, but it's almost zero. So most of the time, okay, when you put inside, uh, actually it's like as if you are putting money in the bank, right? And in fact, when you put money in the bank, the bank has a chance of going bankrupt as well, right? Then you can't get back the money. But if you put inside money market fund, it's basically a custodian account. So even though, let's say today, Weibo disappear, you can still get back your money because the money is not with Weibo. It's in the custodian account of the fund, right? So it's actually very safe. And right now, they are giving you a 5.4% return for seven days. After that, usually it's based on the latest interest rate, about 3% to, to 4%, around that, which is still okay, right? So if you really don't want to initiate any trade, all you need to do is to put the money inside the money market fund called man, money bull, right? And you just maintain until the date. That's it, right? You put $2,000, you maintain there for, for until like one month, right? About one month. Then turn, you can also get uh, in this case, 15 shares of NVIDIA for free, right? And if you maintain 100K and above, wow, then that's how you get uh, $3,000, right? But to me, yeah, just mean it is safe. Okay, I also put my money inside money market fund as well, right? So now, the thing is, how many of you want to hear an even better deal? Okay, if you want a better deal, type B in the chat, right? So if you are completely new, this could be a good deal. But if you are completely new, you don't have any account with Weibo, but if you have an existing account with another brokerage, I think this deal is even better. And this is exactly what I did to get my $10,000 worth of free shares, right? So this is basically called transfer in rewards. Can everybody type T in the chat, right? Transfer in. That means you do need to have existing positions in other brokerages. And then you basically transfer from other brokerages all the holdings that you have to Weibo, right? And because of that, they consider this to be transfer in. It cannot be just cash. Huh? It has to be the existing position. Let's say you have stock position, you have options position. You need to transfer the positions into here to Weibo. Then you will unlock this uh, reward. So... Right now, if you transfer in certain amount, you get to unlock different tiers, right? So minimally, if you transfer $5,000, right? You already get $1,000 worth of NVIDIA shares. And I think this is super, super good deal. How many of you think that this is pretty good? Like, if you think it's good, can you type G in the chat, right? That literally, just by transferring your shares, that anyway, you... You want to diversify your brokerage risk, right? You don't want to put all the money into one broker. That's why I don't mind having a, a second brokerage account just to diversify my brokerage risk as well, right? So that's why I decided to transfer in, right? So if you transfer in 5,000 to 25,000, you get to have $1,000 of NVIDIA. If you transfer more, $25,000, you get to have $3,000. Right. And if you transfer even more, right, for myself, I literally transfer this amount, right? Then I get to have my $10,000 worth of shares, right? So it really depends on how, how much you already have in your existing brokerage account. And then you can transfer the positions over to get these kind of shares, right? So, okay. So some of you are asking, uh, then what are the charges? Let me tell you what are the charges and how to overcome the charges. And in fact, Weibo also offers subsidies to the charges as well. Yes, uh, user PC, this is applicable to Singapore account. However, if you are working in Singapore, but you, if you are foreigners, I think this promo should still work for you as long as you open up your brokerage account through Singapore uh, Weibo, right? Or like transfer into Singapore Weibo, right? So transfer of money funds is not counted. So Cynthia, 
this one does not count. So it must be existing positions, right? And how about existing uh, Webu customer and transfer from another broker to Webu? So if you are existing customer, and as long as you transfer in, this will unlock for you as well. As long as you showcase, basically the brokerage account will literally get to see how much incoming funds that you just transfer in, right? They will give you the bonuses accordingly. Now, let me explain to you even more, right? Let me explain to you even more. Huh? What is the condition? Can everybody type C in the chat, right? You must understand the condition in order to unlock all these bonuses. If you decide to transfer in like how what, what I did, right? You need to maintain your account for one year. That means you cannot take out your money halfway because if not, your whatever shares that you are entitled to get, you will not get in full. They will only send to you in batches. Right? So you want to make sure if you want to get the full value, you want to maintain for one year. Can everybody type one year in the chat? Right? Now, on top of that, like I said earlier, we will also give a subsidy to your transfer in uh, charges. right? Because for certain brokerages, they do charge for a transfer out. Right? And later on, I will show you the charges as well. But you can see that actually Webu right now already giving you a subsidy. If you're transferring for a $5,000 US dollar, they will subsidize you for $150, which is actually enough to cover quite a fair bit, right? And if you're transferring $25,000, they will also cover you $150. And if you're transferring more for $500K, they will cover you even further, $450, right? So that will already help to alleviate some of the charges. And in fact, if you are using certain broker a brokerage account, Actually, this should be more than enough to cover, right? So now, uh, you have a mix of stocks, cash, and options. What, uh, which one counts? Okay, stocks and options. Only these two. Cash is not counted. So what you need to do, for example, uh, Ramasami, you can consider buying using the cash to either buy into certain things, like for example, ETF, right? Then using the position, you transfer everything into Weibo, right? then you can have a higher amount of transferring value, right? And you know ETF is something that's really safe in the long run, right? So now, some of you might be thinking, right? Let us let me go through this further, right? But Nvidia is so high right now, right? It's like $840. What if uh, the moment I get my uh, $10,000 worth of shares, then the stock price start to drop? How many of you have this worry? If you have this worry, can you type W in the chat, right? Because when it drop, your 10K, also shrinks. <laughs> so your, your rewards also shrink. So if you have this worry, well, don't need to worry. Okay, because like I said, it's not going to be they give you 10K right away. It's batches. Can everybody type batches, right? So batches means that they will give you in different period of time, right? So the first time they will give it to you is 31st of July. And they will give you, for example, for my case, I get 10,000 share, right? $10,000, right? So they, they will give me one quarter, $2,500. And then by October, I continue to maintain my account. That means I, I continue to have 500K inside. Well, they will have another $2,500 given to me. And in the next one year, basically, they will fully distribute this. And to me, actually, it's a good thing. Because using this way, I am dollar cost averaging into NVIDIA, right? So let's say if NVIDIA, the stock has gone up so much, after that, coming to drop, right? It starts to drop. Well, I know that I can buy at a better price later with the $2,500, right? So, but let's say after that, it continues to go higher. Well, this one I cannot control, but at least I know I am also maximizing the value that $2 cost averaging, I'm collecting every quarter uh, of a uh, good company at a, at free, free shares. I don't even pay for this, right? That's why I like it a lot, right? So free shares already, exactly. It's already a gain, right? So now how can we transfer uh, uh, over even, yes, if, for example, Amanda, if your positions are in the loss, you can also transfer in. Basically, when you transfer in, they will ask you, how many stocks do you want to transfer over? You want to transfer everything, you can transfer everything as well, as long as you hit your certain tier, right? So now let me show you another different tiers. Huh? Just now was 500K, right? So right now, let me show you $25,000. 
for 25,000 dollars they will give you your 700 700 750 dollar every quarter as well that's how eventually you manage to have a this one is how much uh, 750 times uh four okay now my math's a bit fail but three thousand dollars okay three this is three thousand dollars worth of nvidia shares right over the next one year and if you're just transferring 5k also can you will get well uh 1k right one thousand dollar at the end of one year right so yes carol it's regulated by mas actually all the brokerages account that you see the mass market account right for example webu uh, mumu tiger they are all regulated ib is also regulated so in fact they have the sipc protection which will protect up to i think 250k yeah, so your money inside, 250K is being protected. So you don't have to worry, even though let's say today the brokerage decide to disappear, right? You can actually get back your money. So uh, this is regulated by MAS, right? So how much is the charges? Now, let me tell you what is the charges. Depends on your brokerage account, right? And the transfer amount is based on our current asset value. It's based on that, okay, so the transfer in now, uh, it must be the transfer in value. So stock market does move. The transfer in generally take about one week. Can everybody type one W? One week, uh, one week. So originally, for example, I transfer in maybe 510K, right? 5, 510, right? 510K. Uh. And then after that, right? After that, what happened was, hey, the market dropped a little bit. Recently, market is dropping, right? So by the time it reaches the brokerage account, let's say it becomes 490K, and then you will not be able to get this, uh, this deal, right? Because it fell below the 500K. That's why you want to make sure you don't transfer exact. If you transfer, transfer exact, if the market goes up, of course, it satisfies the criteria. But if the market goes down, which is what's happening right now, it can end up going to the second tier, right? Which is not very worth it. So you want to make sure you give yourself some buffer, which is the margin of safety that we're talking about. So for myself, I transfer, uh, I think 520, 520, just to make sure that I have about 20K to buffer in case the market move, right? So that's how I can uh, get this uh, deal in a margin of safety way, right? So you want to make sure it's by the time it reaches Weibo, right? So now, what if you top up extra cash uh, when it drop? Okay, so before I answer Ramasamy's uh, question, now let me talk about the charges first because this one is uh, a lot of people are very curious to find out. So in terms of charges, right? Firstly, if you look at the platform charges itself, it's actually very competitive. After I go and compare, right? Okay, I've been using uh, Mumu, right? Since TD left. So I transferred to Mumu, but then I realized that actually Mumu charges higher than Webu. Right. So for Mumu, for every single option contract, it's about one dollar. For buying stocks, even though it's commission free, but it does have platform charges. So the platform charges actually is about dollar as well. Right. And on the other hand, for Weibo, it's actually cheaper. Be it options or be it stocks, even though it's uh commission, it has commission, but the platform fees, it has zero platform fee. So the commission itself actually end up cheaper than uh Mumu. And I think it's also cheaper than Tiger as well, right? So uh, commission-wise, I think you get to save when you go to Weibo. And actually, most importantly as well, you get to get the free shares, right? That's what I was aiming for. And the commission is just a little bit, not so much difference, but it's the it's the free shares that I'm, I'm aiming. Now, if you're transferring out from interactive broker, IB, can everybody type IB in the chat? Huh? So if it's IB, the charges is $100. You can literally transfer every single thing out at $100 only, right? Whatever positions that you have. So it's already covered by Weibo, remember? Because as long as you your transfer value is more than 5K, they will already rebate you $150 maximum, right? So $100 is already within the cap. So you will have zero transfer fee because it's rebated by Weibo. 
right? But provided you transfer 5K, la, if you transfer less than 5K, then not worth it because you will not get the bonuses. Right? If you want to get 1K free shares, you need to transfer at least 5K, right? So now, uh, Tiger, now let me share with you Tiger. Okay, this is, uh, okay, so, so uh, like I said, uh, 150, 150, this is a subsidy. Okay, if you transfer more, you get 450. Now, let me share with you Tiger and Mumu. I was shocked because I use Mumu, right? And I was shocked when I see this, you know, when I see this, I'm like, huh, what? For US stock out, one counter, uh, guys, one counter is $150. I was literally shocked, you know, because I look at all my positions I have, right? I have like, what, 10 plus positions, 10 plus positions. Huh? If I have to transfer every single one of them, I literally need to spend like 1.5K and above, right? So Tiger is the same thing as well. I don't use Tiger, but when I see the, the website for both of them, basically it's the same charger, so I just put it here. So what happened was, I, I want to get the 10K free shares, right? So desperately. So guys, you know, I did something very, very drastic. <laughs> when I see this, uh, I literally want to faint. I'm like, Mumu, how can you do this? Like, how can you try to do this to tie your customers like this way, right? It's not like very pleasant. Okay. So I was like, ah, face palm, what should I do? So I decide to, yes. Okay, some of you guess it right. Right. The trick is, okay, it takes some guts to do that. Basically, I sold off majority of my stocks and I convert all of them into three major ETFs and I swap it over, right? And I think I am quite fortunate to do this because if you think about it, right? Actually, right now, the market is high, right? So individual stocks versus ETF, can you tell me which one is more volatile? I or E, which one is more volatile? That means they move up very quickly, it come down very quickly. Which one is more volatile? Exactly, right? So when I sold it, it was before the, the, the drop that starts to happen in you know, the past few days, right? So I sold off majority of my companies and I swapped it to ETF. If I did not do that, I hold on to the companies, right? The drop of those companies will be higher, will be faster than ETF. So in a way, right now, even though my ETF, uh, since I bought it, right? Because I literally sold off my positions, I bought my new three major ETF, right? Just concentrate into these three major ETF. Right now, my ETF is in losses because the market is dropping. But actually, I'm losing less money as compared to me holding on to all those individual stock positions. How many of you understand what I mean? If you understand, type you in the chat, right? So this is called swapping, right? That you basically just uh, de-risking your portfolio by swapping individual stocks into ETF portfolio, right? In this case, right? So, so what I did was, right? So still worth it, right? And I still get to earn 10K of NVIDIA, right? For the next one year, right? Dollar cost averaging. So what happened is after that, I just transfer in, right? So I swap it to three major ETF and... That three counters, I transfer to WeWoo, right? And because every one counter, remember how much uh, WeWoo is charging me? It's charging me $150. <laughs> so I want to maximize it. Since WeWoo is going to compensate me $450, right? Yeah, times three. La. So that's why I transfer into three counters. And that's $450, right? Now, of course... Uh, there are still some additional charges I paid, which is the GST, right? GST, uh, because Mumu is already like GST uh, registered. So that's why 450 plus that uh, additional 10 plus percent, basically I top up the additional $40. Additional $40 by my own, from my own pocket to transfer out to get 10K. Guys, can you tell me, is this a, a good decision? What do you think? If you think it's good, can you type good in the chat? If you think it's not worth it, <laughs> then, then I also don't know what to say. I think it's a, it's very good, right? It's a subsidy in cash. So the subsidy, how does it work is they are going to give it to you into your brokerage account. So once you finish transferring, I guess, as you can see, right? I transferred out already, right? Like I said, I've transferred out about 520, right? But because recently the market dropped a bit, 
So right now, only left with 508. But it's okay because I know that long-term ETF sure go up. Right? So I'm not worried. I'm not looking at short-term volatility. I'm looking at about long-term capital appreciation. Can everybody type LT in the chat? Long-term, right? Then when my money is in, right? Then I just need to wait a little bit and see how, what do I want to do with this amount of cash? Because right now, it's all inside the three ETF that I just transferred over. But eventually, when the market dropped to a good level, I might want to consider to switch them back to certain individual stocks that are very cheap, right? Because if the market continues to drop, individual stocks become very favorable to invest. When the rebound comes back, the rebound will be faster than ETF as well. So it's always a balance. That's what you can do to so-called swap your portfolio a little bit to, to, de to de-risk at the same time to increase your return when the market gives you opportunity. So right now, I'm just going to keep it all in ETF because the market is still relatively high, right? So that's what I intend to do. And how do I get my reward, right? So all I need, okay, so you can see, uh, like 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 uh, after a while, right? This is where I need to wait until July, right? Wait until July, I can start to claim my first batch, which is $2,500. I think it's not bad, lah, right? I get like uh, free shares and then subsequently continue to do that, right? So, okay, let me answer some questions. So the subsidy, is not in cash. The subsidy will be credited to your account. So let's say you have $450 worth of subsidy. They will literally give you $450 and put it here, right? So, and this one is in USD, right? So in USD, I think it's pretty good, right? And now transferring from IB is USD. Okay, so they will credit you based on the screenshot that you send it to them. And the screenshot is the proof of the transaction. So let's say when you transfer from IB, they will charge you, right? And they will put a screenshot of, okay, $100 is being charged. So you submit this inside the Weibo customer service. You just submit to them. They will credit it to you by whatever amount that's being charged by your IB broker, right? So if you charge 100, they will give you 100. They will not give you the maximum. They will only give you what you have, what you have paid, All right? So, ah, okay, very good question. When is this promo until, okay? Why I'm sharing you this uh, is because it's quite time sensitive, okay? It's until uh, 30th of April. So today it's 18. So you literally have about one week to do this, right? So if you want to get this deal, which I think is like super no-brainer deal, you want to make sure you do it soon, right? Because transferring also takes time also, right? So as long as, okay, I heard from Weibo is as long as you initiate it during this period, it's okay. The transferring, maybe it will take, a, usually it takes a week. For me, it takes about one week to transfer over, right? So, but they take it as the date of you initiated the transfer. That's why you only have about what, uh, 12 days, which take it as one week left to get all these additional Good perks, okay? So is there any charges for transfer out of poems? That's a very good question. I have not thought about poems before. I'm sure there will be certain charges. You go and find it online. And I think for poem charges, no matter how ridiculous it is, it cannot be as ridiculous as my mumu. So I think you should be safe. Should be more than enough to cover... Uh, your poems transfer. You just Google it, right? Poems, you should be able to find it as well, right? Just Google poem transfer charges. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Now, all right, so this is for transfer in. Uh. So all you need to do, you just scan this code if you want to, right? If not, you just go to this link, rebrand.ly slash transfer. you get all these perks, right? However, if you are somebody new and you have no stocks position at all anywhere, well, you can also consider just opening a new account with Weibo and you will get $50, $150 to up to $2,950 depending on how much are you funding your account, which I think is also a good deal because if you fund 500 well, you already get your $50 plus, right? It's a plus. Uh, it can be potentially be more than that. So your, your return on investment is already pretty good. It's already 10% just by opening an account with them with $500, right? So now, is uh, Weibo easy? Actually, Weibo is actually very easy to use. If you use the interface, right, 
Weibo, to me, the interface is very, very clean. So I think it's quite useful. Let me just, uh, hold on. Huh? Let me just, where's my face ID? So even though, right, like, like I actually tried to compare because I use Mumu, by the way, I still have my assets, huh? still have inside Mumu as well. I didn't transfer 100%. Remember I said, I just convert majority. However, there are still certain stocks that I did not sell. I keep it inside Mumu because I want to diversify my brokerage risk. So now I have two, two brokerage platforms that have quite a lot, of, quite a fair bit of money in both of them so that I can diversify my risk as well, right? So when I'm just comparing these two platforms. Mumu, it's more robust in terms of it has a lot of features. But sometimes uh, these features might not be necessary. So I felt that Weibo is actually more geared towards people who just want to keep investing simple. And they have all the necessary function to do, to, uh, to do that. And you can do all the option strategy as well. And it's very, very easy to use, right? So now let me show you a little bit about uh, Weibo. Let me just share screen from my uh, here. Okay, let me just stop share from here, right? Then I can show you a little bit about the interface. Okay, how many of you want to see the, the interface? If you want to see the interface, type I in the chat, right? So newbie can open in, say, IBKR, buy stocks, and then transfer to Weibo. Yes, actually, you can also do that, all right? So Ramasami, if you are willing to, or you if you think newbie, if you guys want to go all the way until that, actually, that is the best way because you get more perks just by doing that. So you need to just quickly go and open up a, a account in fact, actually, you can just open uh, 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 Weibo uh, or Mumu also can. I, you just open a Mumu because Mumu is very easy to open. And then as long as, you know, you hit your minimum threshold, then you transfer out. The fees is being taken care of, right? Then you just buy one ETF and then you transfer all the all the ETF stocks into uh, Weibo. You can also unlock, right? So now let me just share screen. Okay. So share screen. Okay, so this is from my Weibo app, okay? So over here, as you can see, right? Like I said, I just recently transferred in and the stock market, eh, how come it's not sharing? Eh, how come? Uh, how come it's not sharing my screen? Hold on. Eh, yeah. Oh, yes, I am sharing, just that it takes longer to load. All right, guys, are you able to see my Weibo share screen right now? If you can see, you can type S in the chat. Oh, you're still loading. Wait, I think it's still loading. Oh my gosh, how come it takes so long? Cannot see, right? Okay, let me try. All right, okay, finally, it's been shown. Guys, can you, are you able to see my share screen right now? Okay, just... It's so long to load. Okay, so now, now okay, right? So for example, like I said, right, I just recently did the transfer in. So right now, um, because the, the, the stock price is dropping, but I'm okay because I'm just holding on to safe ETF, right? So what I need to do, right, in order to claim my, uh, like today, I just went to claim my transfer in reward. So I just go to my reward. And then after that, right, uh, can you see? shares transfer fee subsidy. Mine is 450. And I'm or I already submitted my proof of how much uh, Mumu charged me. And right now they are in a claiming process. Okay, it's in transit. So you can you can see that your expected date of delivery of getting back my 450, it's about uh two weeks, right? So by uh, 7th of May, I should be able to get it. Right. And then what I like about Weibo, right, is it provides quite very, uh, some very useful data, right? So for example, let me just go to a search, right? For example, let's say we want to look at NVIDIA since we talked about NVIDIA today, right? In fact, some of the charts that I show you just now in my presentation is extracted from Moomoo, right? Uh, oh, sorry, uh, MV, uh, from Weibo, right? So for example, over here, this is uh buying. If you want to buy stocks, you just click trade and you want to buy how much? You want to buy a uh, limit price. This is for if you buy the whole share, but you can buy fractional share, right? All you need to do is click market and can you see fractional share, 
Once you go to market, you can buy fractional share. And you don't need to buy one share. You can buy like 0 0.1 share. Can you see that? Right? Then you just need about $85 to buy a fractional share of, any, uh, in this case, NVIDIA. So this is fractional share. You can do that for ETF. That's how you initiate your buy trade. So for example, SPY. Something that is no-brainer for long-term. Right? Warren Buffett said, right? Do index investing. You just click trade. And then I just set it to market. And I buy 0 0.1 share. Done, right? So as simple as that, you fulfill one buy trade, right? If not, you just put inside money, boo also can, right? So this is for trade, uh, for stocks. And options, you just click on options. You can see that it's so easy to use. It actually looks pretty much like TD Ameritrade. If for those who have, um, you have used TDA before, right? This looks like TD as well. The interface is very similar, right? And that's it, right? So this is simple. Now, what I want to show you next is actually, okay, this is ETF cannot, uh, let me go back to a stock. So you want to understand company analysis. If you go to this part called company, right? Just go all the way to the right-hand side, right? There's a company. You can have a very quick glance of how is the company doing, right? Uh, for example, is the EPS increasing, right? The key indicators, including like ROA, for example, ROE, return on equity, is it like, how many percent, right? In this case, you can see that it's consistently above 15%. And then what, how is the earnings look like, right? This is every quarter. If you want to change it to every annual, like every year, you have the annual data as well, right? So the past five years, the past five quarters, everything is already uh, listed out here for you, right? How many of you think this is quite useful? You think it's quite useful, kept you in the chat, right? And it's very, very, I think, easy to read, right? And just now I remember I, I shared with you the total revenue. And here, I extracted from here, right? The annual total revenue of NVIDIA has been increasing, right? The net income has been consistently increasing as well. So this is what we can all see it here, right? Now, having said that, if you are asking about, uh, yes, you can do vertical spread options. Now, we will support different legs of options as well. Yeah. However, one thing that I don't do is I don't do charts on this app because it's user-friendly for mobile. It's not very useful if you want to do app because uh, do charts because it's so small, the screen, right? So for charts, I usually just look at trading view, um, but I don't look at chart all the time, most of the time. So yeah, I mainly just use it to initiate some long-term positions, right? So yes, uh okay, please share if uh Kai 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 is about okay. So my ETF mastery program right now it's on hold on the wait wait list okay because I am going to travel next week. All right, I'm going to disappear for I think uh three weeks huh? So after I come back okay, I will uh re restart the the free class again and then for those who want to join the free class right now i do have it in a wait list okay after you join the free class you can learn about the basic of etf investing and if you want to learn more together with me like for the next one year i continue to coach you to build out your portfolio in etf then i will share with you my coaching details uh during the free class as well okay so thanks for your patience because i need to travel a bit first okay so <laughs> thank you so much kai kai okay so uh any other questions okay carol asking how's the chart yeah, so Carol, I don't use uh these to draw charts. Yeah, because it's just too small. I will use, I would suggest, use trading view to draw chart. It's a lot better, right? So as we were already in Malaysia, yes. Vera, it's also available in Malaysia as well. So um and Malaysia, they do have their own bonuses. So you might want to just uh scan the code and see what, uh, if it directs you to the uh to the Malaysia site. Right. So hold on. Uh, let me see. In the meantime, okay. I think I kind of finished uh, dissecting the platform, right? Quite easy, right? You can also see other things like what analyst says and all this, but I don't really read this. Okay. What I mainly look at, look at is the company information and then the platform is user-friendly and the fees are cheap. And most importantly, I get free shares. Okay. That's, that's, that's all I mainly care about more. All right. So, okay. So hold on. Uh, does it have a desktop version? Yes, it does. It does. Same as Weibo, same as uh, Mumu, any other brokerage account, they definitely have their desktop version. But I think they are built in a way that their app is more useful and it's more user-friendly than their desktop. Yeah, so that's all I, I can say. 
Yeah. So so I did not explore enough about the Weibo desktop to give you a valid comment whether is it fantastic or not, right? But you can go and explore it. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. Okay. So Amanda, thanks for checking. So your poems charger is only 100, right? Then it's more than enough to be covered by Weibo. So you should totally go and transfer. All right. Okay. So thanks. Once again, let me just show the QR code uh, so that you guys can uh, scan, the, scan the code. Right. So if you are doing transfer in, please scan this code. And let me also just put the link uh, inside the chat so that it's easier for those who want to just use computer to do the transfer, we bull transfer. We bull transfer, HTTPS, HTTPS rebrand.ly. rebrand.ly slash Weibo transfer. All right, so I just sent the link as well inside the chat that is for transfer in. So remember, transfer in, you want to make sure you give a little bit of buffer. Don't transfer like exact like 500K, right? Don't transfer exact like uh, uh, $25,000 because the market is fluctuating a little bit. So I will, I will say give a little bit about 10% buffer so that you can really get all the bonuses over here, right? And they will give you subsidy fee. All you to do is to go to the, your rewards and claim accordingly with the screenshot, right? So this is clear. So this is for people who want to do transfer in. Please make sure you do so by 30th of April, right? And if you are new to Weibo and you don't have existing stocks, actually the better way is you go and <laughs> open up like let's say IV or Moo Moo and then get the stocks, buy the stocks, then you transfer in. That would be the best way, right? But if you are lazy to do that, then you just open up this Weibo account and you just fund whatever amount, $500 or so can, you already get $50, right? If you want to fund more, then you get more as well, right? So that's uh, as simple as that, okay? Any more additional question? If you have any question, feel free to ask me right now. So, uh. Edmund is asking, can I show my portfolio holding? Actually, my portfolio right now is just consisting of three major ETF, but I also don't want to just say it for the sake of saying it, because if you don't understand the logic why I'm buying certain ETF, then you might not, you were like, you. I don't want you to copy blindly, you see? So that's why one of the ETF I already told you, that is so safe, no brainer, it's S&P 500, right? So I already give you a big, big hint. If you are afraid, everything... You just transfer in via S&P 500 first. Then after you want to do the rest, you can do that. Okay. So thank you so much. Okay. So the transfer in amount is based on the asset value. Yes. It's based on your current asset value. And the current asset value will fluctuate. Right. So that's why I say your current asset value should give some buffer. So that by the time it transfer in, it can also hit that this amount that you are looking for to unlock the reward. That's why I transfer $520,000 to give that $20,000 buffer in case it dropped. Yeah, which indeed, like in the past uh, few days, it dropped like 10K, right? So but I'm okay because I already have the buffer inside. All right. So any more additional questions? Uh, yes. Uh, da, 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 uh, is the 30th April... Ah, okay. So LC is asking the 30th April transfer date. Okay, as long as you initiate by 30th of April. And then after that, it will be considered. So, but ideally, you try to initiate faster so that you can also get the bonuses faster also, right? So initiate by 30th of April. But if you die, die, you want to wait until 30th of April, initiate also can. But you just have to make sure that is a deadline, okay? So, all right. Uh, if we hit into issues, it, yes. All right, so for uh for customer service, Weibo and are very, very responsive, right? So uh hold on. Huh? Is there any fees for transferring stocks from broker? Yes, Jasmine. Over here. If you still remember what I told you, depending on how much you are transferring, if you're transferring 500 k you will get subsidy of $450 up to like, it depends on how much is yours, they will give you credit back. Right? But if you're transferring 25K, you will get $150. And then 5K, you will also get $150 of subsidies. Right? So uh, Ramasami is asking, what if it drop value after the transfer? 
does it affect? Yes. So that's why uh, uh, Ramasamy, don't transfer the exact. Because let's say you transfer, uh, I don't know, 500K. And, and then after that, the market recently is dropping, right? Then let's say it dropped to 490K. You will not get this. You will get these instead, right? You will get these instead, right? It will drop a tier lower. So that's why I say get some buffer for this, right? At least I like put like, for example, for me is I've put 520K, right? To give myself a little bit of buffer. So give yourself that about 10% buffer should be more than enough. Because it's just one week, right? Just one week. If you do EDF, uh, I think it's a bit hard for the EDF to drop 10% in one week, uh, okay? So now, uh, okay, how about I transfer from two different brokerages? Oh, that's a good question. This question, I, I cannot say for sure right now. I need to go and check with Weibo. But I think should be able to, as long as you transfer from two different brokerages, but it's still under your name. But this one, let me go and confirm. Hey, Jasmine, that is a good question, right? And can we do multiple transfer of 5K? in order to get, uh, so maybe Amanda and Jasmine's question are pretty similar in terms of like, it, you can transfer from multiple brokerages account, right? Amanda, are you talking about that? If it's the same question, then I need to go and check. If not, if it's you are talking about the same brokerage account, I will say transfer one shot, right? Because that's how you, yeah. If it's a uh, same brokerage account, right? You should transfer one shot because you remember, dependent on your brokerage account, they usually charge you by the number of times that you do the transfer. If you transfer one time, they charge you one time. If you transfer 10 times, they charge you 10 times, right? So you don't want to pay too much, ma. You want to make sure you reduce your charges by just condensing all your action into one time transfer. And in this one time, you can transfer multiple positions. Let's say you want to transfer your uh, A stocks, B stocks, three stocks, right? Over, it's possible. And usually it's considered one time. Unless you are like, me using Weibo, uh, using Mumu, they charge me separately for every action. I think that's a little bit crazy. Yeah, I didn't know that, right? But that's why I transferred to three ETF, right? CPF, uh, CPF OA cannot, VA, uh, no, CPF OA cannot. Yeah, it's only the existing brokerage account. So points is based on per counter. Uh -huh. So what does it mean by per counter? Ah, Amanda. So yours is the same issue as me. Per counter means let's say. I have Apple, I have Microsoft, I have Amazon. Just these three positions itself already cost me $150 each. That's why I sold them and I transferred into an ETF. So I would suggest your per counter means that for every single position that you have is per counter. Like one stock is one counter. Yeah, then it's expensive. So you might want to consider swapping it into one counter or two counter, like swapping it into an ETF and you transfer that ETF over. Do you want to pay first? Oops. Did, did I'll someone, wait for you. <laughs> someone accidentally unmuted talking about bathing. I think it's talking to your kid, right? Ah, very sweet. Okay, uh, okay now. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, Jasmine is asking because I got an account from... Uh, it costs hundred dollar transfer fee to another, which is very expensive. Yeah, so Jasmine, oh yeah, okay, so that's why I need to help you to uh find out about the answer. I cannot answer you right now, but thanks for explaining. So, uh, I think what else? What other questions? If we hit support issues, okay. So customer support is very easy. For uh, okay, let me just quickly share it. screen. Uh. hold on. Maybe I need you guys to just help me to mute yourself. If not, I will hear you guys talking about going, going to bathe. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me just, uh, let's say Weibo customer service, right? Actually, once you have the app, the customer service, it's all inside the app. It's very, very user-friendly. Actually, same as Mumu. Mumu customer service is also very, very good, all right? But if you are unsure during this period of time before you officially open up your brokerage account with Weibo, right? You can always just email them and they reply pretty promptly. They just client service at Weibo stash sg.com, right? So uh, transfer two times. If I transfer positions, where do I get the proof of transaction? So this one, you just email IBKR. After you've done the transfer, right? Say, hey, you help me do the transfer. Can you uh, 
uh, give me the screenshot of the transaction charges, actually, they will definitely tell you there will be charges involved because it's their obligation to inform you that, right? So then you can say that, okay, can you give me a screenshot of um of the transfer charges once it's done, right? I need it to claim uh, uh, Weibo, right? So that's what I did for Mumu as well, right? So, uh, okay, so how how... If I transfer two times 5,000 each, can I get 10,000? Oh, cannot, Katie. It's one account, one bonus. Okay, <laughs> one account, one bonus. So, of course, Weibo is also very smart. Will not let you abuse the system in this way. So, one account, one bonus. So, if you hit 5K, 5K, it's 10K, then you will still only get $1,000. But if you hit 25K, then you get $3,000. Yep, hopefully that addresses your question. And so Amanda, then then that is when you need to ask yourself, like, like when you are selling at a loss, do you want to hold on to the company? If you want to hold on to the company, then maybe you you don't need to sell if it's a good company. But if it's a lousy business, maybe it's also time to do some spring cleaning. <laughs> so this is the question I cannot address because it's very personal. So you need to ask yourself. Okay. So hopefully that addresses everybody's questions. All right, so guys, how many of you felt that, wow, uh, this is a pretty good deal, right? If you think it's a pretty good deal, can you type GD in the chat, right? I think this is a great deal. That's why I'm sharing with you this. Uh, worth of 10K positions are based on the current market value. Yes, that's why I say your 10K, try to go up a little bit more, right? So the worth of, let's say you're transferring 5K worth. So at least I think try to transfer like 6 to 7K, lah, right? Then no matter how much you drop, ah. Uh, you will definitely keep that 5K. You get what I mean? Right? So that's why I transfer 520K instead of transferring 500K exact. All right? So uh, then how when do we get NVIDIA shares? Yeah. So when, when do you get NVIDIA shares? This is, uh okay, actually, if you go to this link, right, all the information is also there. So make sure you scan this so that you can save it to review all the details later. But let me just show you one more time. When will you get this? It will be, 31st of July, and then this date, and then this date, basically for the next one year, right? So you can get all the timetable inside via the link as well, right? If transfer from IBKR, will I just partial position? Yes, if partial position, it's also $100. Yeah, so uh, that's why you it depends on you whether if you want to continue to keep IBKR, then you, you can keep it, then you transfer partially, also can. Yeah, all right? So... Uh, uh, additional things, if you really want to clarify, I think better clar uh, clarify with uh, IBKR. Um, what is the difference? Uh? Actually, I don't really know exactly the difference, but uh, I think for Weibo, they accept both. They should accept both. So you should just go for the cheaper one. Basically, what Weibo told me is for IBKR to transfer is 100 USD. Yeah, it's 100 because they have received many transfer before as well from IB. Right? So now, okay, okay, so, oh, really, ACAT is free. Yeah. Okay, okay, so this one, I think I cannot answer you right now because I don't exactly know what is the, the difference, uh, but double check, I think double check with Weibo will be best, okay? So in fact, you can also just email to the customer service that I showed you just now, go and email them and ask them about uh, do they support the ACAT as transfer? Then if they support them, fantastic, it's even free. But actually, if you transfer 5K, they also give you free, la, right? So, so because it's subsidies, right? So that's all I have to say, right? So thank you everybody for coming here. Okay, hopefully uh, you will be, uh, you benefited a lot from tonight. Okay, how many of you learned a lot from tonight? Not just about transferring, but also learning about how to analyze different kind of business. If you learn, can you type L in the chat, right? So Emma is asking, will I share but my future invest investing ETF strategy? Yes, I will share more after I come back from the US, right? Because this weekend, I'm doing a TikTok masterclass, right? So this one has nothing to do with investing, but it's for people who want to learn about content creation and all this. So I already have overwhelming registration number. So if you're coming for my TikTok masterclass, uh, guys, please be early, okay? If you don't, if you're not early, you can't get into the Zoom, okay? Because it's only kept at 100 Unless you bought the VIP package, I will approve you in to secure your seat, 
right? So you want to learn options from me? Then uh, wait for me to come back from my trip. But in the meantime, I do post a lot of investing resources. As long as you're in my Telegram, I will continue to post resources. Recently, I interviewed Adam Koo. I also post our interview very soon. Uh, yeah, I also recently interviewed uh, Jeffrey Towson about China Insights. Uh, recently, I look into China even more because I felt, felt that it's a great country to invest for the long run. So look out for that interview as well. We're releasing more uh, during my trip as well. So uh, we can all keep on learning. All right. So thank you, everybody. Hopefully you guys have a great evening learning. And thank you so much for uh, yeah joining me. All right. And hope you guys learn a lot. And I will upload this recording after that. All right. So remember to open your Weibo account if you want to get all those additional bonuses that I just shared. All right. So see you guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Uh, is there any recordings for my past interviews? Yes, it's all in my YouTube channel. Right? So you can check out my YouTube channel, Aligato Investor, to uh, learn about that. All right. So see you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.